Half a century ago, beneath the soil of countless sites across the country, America saw a buildup of massive complexes that housed the most destructive weapons in human history. Um, I'm actually the owner of this uh, Titan One missile base. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the site of a lot of mass destruction. In the drawdown of the Cold War, many once top secret nuclear missile sites were decommissioned and sold off to members of the public. Chris Ricken is among a unique group of individuals throughout the nation that now calls these sites home. It's something that I've grown used to, you know. I have to, I have to go down there quite often. It's something that, that I don't really pay much attention to day to day. I don't really notice the fact that I'm standing there staring at uh, three feet thick concrete walls right here behind me. The Titan I launch facility, also known as Complex 1C, located 60 miles north of Beale Air Force Base in Northern California, once housed some of the world's most powerful weapons. It was built in the late 50s, 1958, 59. It took, uh, took um, I think it was three years to build. Basically, they mass excavated all this, and it was online, I believe, in 1962 um, for a brief period, and then it went offline again because of an explosion inside the one. Uh, there, was a, 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 there was an explosion due to a, a static electricity spark when they are loading uh, the rocket in silo one. So they basically had to rebuild, you know, 50% of this, this base again. So it went offline for a few years. Despite being the site of one of the worst nuclear related mishaps in US history, living on the former base does have its advantages. Down below, there's, there's lots of, of exploring and whatnot. My kids love to explore and um, it could act as a shelter as well if there's a need for, you know, natural disaster or anything of that nature. This is my, this is the most interesting room to me. Because this is where most of the, you know, all the, everything was driven out of here. All the, all the power, the lifeblood of the whole place was right here. While the Air Force no longer owns or maintains the facility, Chris respects the power that was once held here and ensures that he nor his family never lose sight of the history that was once housed deep beneath this Cold War relic. You know, I, I really don't think about it much anymore. Most people go, how do you, you live? I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really. Sometimes do you just uh, kind so, of forget that you. I do forget a the lot. the doors are closed. <laughs> yeah, I do. I forget that I'm, you know, I don't, I, I guess I, I wouldn't take it for granted, but I just don't think about it. And then sometimes I'll walk around at night, you know, cause you just get great, you know, sunsets out here and, and, and you get to see the stars real good. And you think, you know, I'm, this is, this was a place of mass destruction, you know? And most people thought they were safe in Chico and they weren't. This place was, would have been wiped off the mat. Reporting from Chico, California, I'm Senior Airman Drew Buchanan.